<laughs> Watch, Watch this. this. We begin tonight with a developing story in Miramar. Surveillance video showing a man in a white car opening fire before he and the driver take off, and at least one person was injured. And police are now searching for that shooter tonight. Local 10, Janine Stam with us live now in Miramar with this developing story tonight. Janine. And that shooting happened in this parking lot in broad daylight. And you said that there is now surveillance video, and it is tough to watch. I saw one guy hanging up from the side of the car, um, firing his gun. Watch that white car again. A man in the passenger seat opens the door, hangs out the window, and fires off several shots. We're told this man in jeans and a backpack is struck. He falls to the ground. Another hits the sidewalk, then runs inside a nearby convenience store where a witness tells us he watched in utter fear. Is it? See what I'm talking about, bro. I'm going to let this video finish out, bro. But see what I'm talking about? You never hit your attendant target, bro. You always hit other people, bro. Y'all claim y'all shooters. Y'all claim y'all with the shit. They claim you about the life, bro. But you don't know how to shoot, bro. You missing, it. You missing your target, bro. Like, bro, damn, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not condoning that you should be out here killing people, bro. But, bro, I'm not condoning you should be killing innocent people, bro. Bro, you don't know how to shoot, bro. Y'all ass don't know how to shoot, bro. Bro, you jumped out, bro, you jumped out the window like you a stunt devil and miss. Miss, miss the person you supposed to hit, bro. And then I'm hitting somebody else twice or once. Man, I don't know, know bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. But gonna be people be out here. here. But, but this white killing us. It's another cop just killed a black man, man. And, and, and this and that. And, and they doing this. this. They, they using Jim Crow. They using civil rights. They using no red line. They using all these things against us. And that's why it's like that, bro. The miss me with that bullshit. It's not even like that, that bro. Probably, probably back, back in the day, they probably had to do, but bro, right, right now, it's this moment, people got, people live and go wherever the fuck they want to go right now, at this present time, bro. But, bro, but, but help me get an understanding of why we killing each other, bro, why we doing this. We, we can't use what happened in the 60s, 70s, 80s, I mean, the 90s, or the 50s, the 30s, the 20s, the 40s. Bro, we, we can't, can't use that shit no more. The 1800s, the 1900s, the 1500s, the 15s, the 16s. We, 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 we can't use that shit no more, bro. Bro, it's, it's us. It's us. It's us. We, we the problem, bro. We, we the motherfucking problem. problem. Like, like, the, like your boy uh, DJ Kelly, we, we the best. We, we the problem. problem. Bro, it's us. We, we the problem. problem. Niggas out here is don't give a fuck. Niggas ain't running up on anybody else race who need it, bro. No, they want they quit to run up on you, bro. Niggas gonna have to go. They gonna have to go, bro. In order for regular black people to survive each and every day, niggas gonna have to go, bro. Or they gonna have to fall in line. If you can't fall in line, bro, you gotta go. That's bro. That shit ain't cool, bro. That shit ain't cool, bro. For us to be trying to take each other out. Just, just watch the video, video man. They, they took a sense of the They, they take the gun and shoot. You shot. It happened near this bus stop in the 7500 block of Pembroke Road. Police say the man shot was taken to the hospital. Bullet holes piercing several cars parked nearby. Who in my side of my car right there, one in the mirror. Oh my gosh, that's your car right there. Yeah, and the car beside it, a bullet hole in there, a big hole inside it. Another surveillance camera captures a different angle. The white car pulling up to the corner where shots are fired, then leaving the scene south on DeSoto Drive. We'll freeze the video so you can get a better look. Miramar police are now investigating the shooter. See? Now, now the, the driver, driver probably had, had nothing to do with who, bro? The driver in the backseat, back whoever in that car or around that car, bro, bro, bro y'all could be charged with attempted murder. murder. Especially him, he already charged for, he to get charged for you could get charged with a murder. murder. You, you know? know? If, if this, this person died or whatever, bro, but bro, you finna be charged, bro. And who up in that car driving me, bro? You with it. You a part of it. You, you gonna go to the down, bro. That's, that's all I keep trying to tell y'all, bro. Watch how y'all kick it with, bro. Watch how y'all mess with, bro. Everybody is not your friend, bro. 
bro. Bro, people look at Bud. Look, he didn't know that shit was going to happen. He probably did. I don't know. But he the only one that knew that this shit was going to go down, bro. And look what happened, bro. Sometimes, bro, you, you be in the wrong place at the wrong time when all you got to do is just stay alone, bro. Now, you instigated this, what well, led to this, to this man getting shot, and whoever else standing around who had nothing else to do with it. Has not been caught. I was lucky I was inside this store. This is the 7500 block of Pembroke Road, just south of North Perry Airport. Miramar police, they are on it, but they need witnesses. They are hoping that somebody who was here, who may have seen something, could give them a call, either Miramar police or Broward Crime Stoppers. That number's on your screen, 954-493-TIPS. We're in Miramar tonight. I'm Janine Stanwood, local 10 News. Census crimes, bro. Like, bro, your life is, your life don't mean anything. Your no life don't mean anything to nobody nowadays, bro. Not only you gotta watch other people, bro, you gotta watch your own, bro. You gotta pay attention, bro. When you step foot outside your door, bro, you have to pay attention to your surroundings or what's going on, bro. You have to be aware, bro. You have to be open, bro. Because if you're not, bro, like, anything can happen, bro. And you don't promise to come back home, bro. You don't even promise being in your own crib that you can survive, bro. That you gonna live, bro. A bullet could come straight to your shit anytime they want. People don't know how to shoot, bro. People don't know how to hit the people who they trying to hit. Bro, a lot of people should be out, shouldn't even be out here with guns, bro. But they got it somehow, bro. People is not with it, bro. People trying to get make a little fame for their name and shit like that. And they don't care if they go to jail or end up in the grave. Those people know that they a shooter, bro. People want to be shooters. People want to be glorified from the hood, bro. And it's up to you. Regular in it, bro. It's going to take regular individuals, bro, to stop this bullshit, this nonsense that's going on, bro. You're going to have to speak up and talk about it, bro. You're going to have to get on people's heads about this bullshit they doing in your own hood, your own community, bro. Shit like this can keep going on, bro. People going to have to start getting chastised for the shit that they putting on here, for the shit that they doing, bro. That's not cool, bro. And all y'all want to talk about what cops doing and racism and all this, bro. But don't nobody want to talk about what we doing. I don't know what to say, man. Black, Black Lives Matter need, need to come out there. They told they need to speak, speak up, bro. They need to talk. We, 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 we need to know what's going on, on bro. So I'm trying, trying to make this thing about white people, people bro, and everybody, everybody else. else. And we need, we need to, to make that shit about us. We the problem. Black Lives Matter should matter to black people first. This this That shit ain't cool, bro. That, that shit is not cool, cool bro. It's, it's not cool. cool. Shit, shit like that make, make you want to stay away from black people, bro. Shit like that make you want to stay away, bro. I saw like, like, bro, I don't want to move and just dominate niggas, man. I don't want to be a part of that shit. I ain't got time for that shit, bro. Like, bro, I like to live my life, man. I'm out my own business, bro. I don't want to be a part of your shit. I ain't trying to entertain your shit. Like, none of that. You know? And niggas, niggas bro, be out there, there you trying to pull that shit, shit trying to use that shit, try to, like, do whatever, bro, and that's, that's not cool, cool man. And, and then when you do something to him, bro, you know, he didn't mean that, that. He, he wasn't like that, that. he was a good, and no, all, bro. This, this motherfucker been doing shit a little bit too much, a little bit too long, bro. Then when it's time for his ass to come for that shit to happen to him, uh, he a good boy, or pray for my son, and or free him, and all this shit. You know, like, bro, but your son was out there terrorizing people. Your kids, your daughter, your son was out there terrorizing people, bro. Been getting away from shit for long. And then when somebody got fed up and took their ass out, or the police did, or whatever the case, man, that is racism, or you wrong, or that was a good child, and that was this and that, bro. 
Like, like bro, parents, parents be knowing, bro. Whoever regarded that child, bro, they be knowing if there's something wrong with that person, bro. They be knowing if that person is fucked up in the head, bro. They be knowing if that person be fucked up and they keep doing the shit they doing. Just like racism, just like regular white people and other any other people know that they got somebody in their family that's fucked up, that's fucked up, mentally fucked up in the head, bro. And I ain't talking about like, like this. Like, like, like mentally, like, like messed up in the head, head and all like that. Like they, they talking to themselves. I'm talking about, about bro. When they, when they, they got, got a problem with, with their personal self, bro. When they, they use racism, bro. You know, to uh, start shit with other people, people bro. To, to put people in certain positions and stuff, stuff like that, bro. They know what they doing, bro. People know who. People know, just like you know who the bad one in your family. They know who the bad one in their family too, bro. Like, like I, I said, said, it's a double, double sword out here on both ends, bro. Like, bro, like, man, man real talk, bro. Like, like man, bro, bro, we gotta, gotta do better than this, bro. bro. That's, that's that shit ain't cool, cool bro. That shit ain't cool. cool. It's not. It's it's, it's not, not cool, cool no more to be watching that. that. It's not cool to be around that. It's not cool, bro. That's a problem, bro. That's a problem. That's a problem, bro. And, and I, I feel, feel like, bro, the only way this shit gonna change, bro, is black people, bro. It's gonna take regular black people to stand up against this shit and force it to make it change, bro. Force it. That's that's pretty much what it's gonna take. This is like the movies. Oh, I can't even think of that movie I was watching, man. Uh, you know, but the gang, they got tired of the gang. Destroying this old movie. They got tired of des- de- de- kept destroying the old neighborhood. They got tired of that shit. They started raising up against them. Once they took one and a couple of them started fighting up against them, they started raising up against them, bro, and started doing shit to them, bro. Right, man, it's a couple of movies like that, bro. You know, it take, bro, that's what it's gonna take, bro. You're gonna take the community to go against the Indians or the bullshit that's in our neighborhood, bro. And then that's the only way we're going to become stronger, bro. That's the only way your people going to live, bro. That's the only way your people going to survive, bro. It's going to take you to stand up against that in that bullshit. That shit ain't cool, bro. And, 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 bro, ain't no more speaking out on that shit, bro. It's time to do something for your community, bro. It takes you to stand up against that shit. That shit ain't cool. It's not, bro. It's not. Like I said, man, like and subscribe, man. I want your feedback. I want your comments, man.